Let's talk about some new makeup releases that I just saw Trent Mood posted. I'm so excited to bring this to you because that way you kind of have everything in uh, uh, one video and it's kind of it's easier to see if you're interested in something or not. Again, this video that I make is not for you to make you go buy things. They're pretty expensive. You don't need this. It's just something fun to have a conversation about makeup, to see what's new out there, what's exciting and maybe you'll get something maybe not maybe i'll buy something maybe not but anyways let's get started okay so i'm gonna move to the side and i'm gonna leave this portion um like this so that we can put pictures and i can show you what i'm talking about and i have my phone right here so i'll be only using trend mood when i talk about these products and i'm gonna start with the first one that caught my eye Caught my eye, it's something that I really like, it's interesting, doesn't mean I will buy it again, it's a lot of money, I don't want you to just go spend your money on this makeup, you don't need it, but I want to bring it to your attention and let's talk about it. And this is the Hourglass, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Now I do have the Jellyfish Palette, but you can see that this new palette has four powder products. There's two blushes, one bronzer and one highlighter. The one I have looks like this, the Jellyfish one. So the blushes, the blushes that I have are more mauvey, more pink. Bronzer looks similar and the powder I'm sure is one of their nice powders that everybody really enjoy. It does look similar to this one that I have here. Not sure if it's the same shade or not. This really caught my eye and I really love the aesthetics of the packaging. It's nice and beige. Um, I love how compact it is. It's much smaller because it only comes with four products in there. And obviously it's going to be cheaper than buying this face palette. It retails for $74. And it features, it's available now, and it features four butter smooth powder products. They are the opalescent powders that are powered by their photoluminescent technology, capturing and diffusing surrounding light and blur imperfections and enhance your complexion, giving you a very nice radiance. So I agree, they are very beautiful products. They blend very nice based on this palette. The only uh, issue I had with this palette is the two powders, but um, I kind of grew to like it more and use it more. I have to use it because this was expensive. You know what I don't like about this? Limited edition. I don't like products that are limited edition because then you can only buy them once. It's good for collector reasons if you like to collect makeup. When it's limited edition, I buy it, I review it for you guys, you guys like it, and then it doesn't exist anymore. Like for someone else who watches the video later on, the palette or whatever makeup product, they don't exist because they're limited edition. So that's the only reason I'm not a big fan of limited edition products. However, it's, it's a beautiful luxury product if you wanna have it. You get two beautiful peach blushes i love the blushes i love those shades nice bronzer and i'm sure i don't know that's a highlighter or a powder or their famous powders really enjoy all the shades i think this is a great product now i don't know if you have more of a deeper skin tone how this would look on you however this is i think more for light to medium it looks like based on the shade so i don't know if they have different shades let's move on to the next one this is by Fenty Beauty, the Soft Lit Foundation. It's a bottled, bottled that golden hour magic into a natural luminous foundation. Let me talk about a foundation that I have by Fenty Beauty, and this is the one by Pro Filter. You can see that I have a brand new one. I already have two other shades that I'm using, one deeper and one lighter. And this is a backup. That's how much I love it. This is in the shade 150. The issue with this, it was not limited edition. But this is the one I have and the issue with this is that now it's discontinued. It's such a beautiful foundation and this one looks very similar to their old one. But this comes in a the new one comes in a glass bottle from what I see. I like this packaging better because it's the squishy one. 
It's a glow a notch above natural. Skin is suddenly softened, evened out, and lit from within. A natural luminous finish for all skin types. They have a lot of shades. Immediately reduces the appearance of surface oil and shine. Lightweight formula delivers a smooth, comfortable feel on the skin. Medium to buildable coverage. Gives me the same vibes as the Pro Filter. Longwear formula that resists creasing, fading, sweat, humidity, and transfer. Color True Pigments resist oxidation all day. I agree, this doesn't oxidize as, at, at all. Again, it's not this product, it's a new product, but I think that if you have this, don't, I wouldn't buy the glass one because it's also glass, harder to travel with. Uh, chances are that it can break more than having a nice tube. And it comes into 50 shades and it retails for $40 each. Again, everything I'm talking about is in US because it's from the Trend Mood website. It has skin beneficial ingredients which help to hydrate and brighten your skin. Over time, it improves your skin tone. I love a makeup product that comes with skincare ingredients. I don't use a makeup product um, for the skincare ingredients. However, I love the skincare ingredients that a makeup product has so I can add it to my daily routine on top of my regular skincare. So it also has a new foundation brush, number 145, which retails for $36. It has a teardrop shape and super dense bristles for an even application to reduce formula absorption and deliver a seamless airbrushed luminous finish. Oh, the shades look so beautiful and they look very hydrating. So very similar to the Pro Filter from what I see in the pictures. So yeah, that's another product, beautiful foundation by Fenty Beauty. I love a lot of Fenty Beauty products. Okay, this really caught my eye and I think I might want to get this for two reasons. This is by Urban Decay. One reason I might want to get it is because the packaging, look at the nice pink and lime green. And the second one, this is an, an hyaluronic acid watermelon fruit extract, long lasting makeup setting spray. Isn't it pretty? It's available now. I didn't see it on the Sephora Canada website, maybe US only. Uh, addition to the All Nighter family, which I do have. Let me bring it. Okay, so it's the same as this, this one. This is the one that I have by Urban Decay. It's an All Nighter Hyaluronic Acid Dewy Setting Spray. A waterproof fixing mist that gives a luminous and glowy finish. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid. That's why I want to get it because it has hyaluronic acid in it and watermelon extract and this spray hydrates your skin and has a nice fresh scent and the iconic longwear formula that keeps your makeup looking fresh. Truly a very nice setting spray. I love this one and Charlotte Tilbury. That's all I love. It keeps your makeup fresh for up to 16 hours and it retails for $36. Now as you can see in these pictures they have one, two, three, four, five setting spray, the original one which has a natural finish. When they first came out, they only had this available. Now they have the hydrated bouncy skin one with hyaluronic acid, brightening finish, which is that nice yellow, glowy finish, which is that silver, and the matte finish, which is a brighter purple bottle. I'm really interested in the pink one. Like I said, two reasons. I love the pink and the lime, and then I love that it has hyaluronic acid. So this is something that if I see it at Sephora Canada, I might, I might purchase that one. Even though... I don't use setting sprays that much, but I love something with hyaluronic acid. So I'm thinking it's also good to use it as kind of like a on top of your skincare type of thing. And I'm assuming that this is probably also good to put it underneath your foundation as well. Let's talk about the next product. And this is by Chanel. Now, I don't think I have a lot of Chanel perfumes. I have like five or six favorite Chanel perfumes here. I'll show you right here. Yeah, so these are all of my Chanel perfumes and I truly love them. They each and every one have like their nice scent. But in today's video, I am talking about the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Sunkissed Powder. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a trio of energizing healthy glow sunkissed shades that can be worn individually or blended together. It has three shades in it. And each color harmony consists of a warm bronze bronzer for a sun-kissed effect, a vibrant blush that brightens the complexion, and a pearlescent highlighter with dazzling iridescence. And together, they create a really nice healthy looking glow 
that lasts for up to eight hours. This was just for 95 and that's US. That's that's a lot of money. But you get three products in, in, in them. So it comes into a deep mauve, which has a very, it's more of a deeper, you can see the highlighter, bronzer, and the blush. But I think this is more for deeper tones because highlighter is quite deep. The bronzer and blush, I can make it work. The deep rose gold, even the bronzer is a little bit too deep. But then it comes in the medium one, which is the deep rose gold which again, I can make the bronzer and blush work, not the highlighter, but the lightest one is the medium rose gold, which those things I can make work for my skin tone. It's really nice, I love the packaging. It's available now, but $95, I don't know if I'll spend $95 on this, even though you get kind of three products, but they're very little in that compartment. Um, but it's beautiful, I'm sure it will look really nice. So it's something that if you wanna you know, buy something for yourself, go ahead. But I think it's expensive, $95. I don't know, that's a lot of money. Anyways, let's move on to another beautiful product. And I don't have anything by this brand. And I'm talking about By Terry. I was interested in the By Terry powder. I heard such amazing things. This is available now. It's a hydrating serum foundation. This I'm very interested in, but it's available now and it, it gives me the price in uh, pounds, which is 62 pounds. Um, so I don't know if it's only available in Europe at the moment and it's coming here. I have not seen it on the Sephora Canada website at all. I love the packaging. It's a hydrating serum foundation, ultra sheer glowing finish, 24 hour radiance and hydration, 90% naturally derived ingredients, clean vegan formula. It's a lightweight as a skin tint that delivers a glowy youthful looking skin. It's enriched with premium skincare actives. I love that. Such as regenerating Japanese extract, moisturizing skin booster complex enriched with aloe vera, phytosqualane and shea butter as well as niacinamide. Doesn't that sound amazing? You know what? If this comes to Sephora Canada, it's something that I might pick up. Your skin will be brighter, smooth, smoother, feel healthier, stay youthful for radiant skin and perfectly even complexion. Like I said, it comes into 23 shades and it retails for 62 pounds. I, I would love to get this one. It's the Brightening CC Foundation. Amazing by By Terry. And I want to do try one and actually see how, how I love the product and how I love the brand. Okay, I have two more things to talk about that really caught my eye. Okay, I am not a person that I like to go ahead and purchase a mascara from Sephora, even though I would love to, but I'd rather save my money and buy something else because Drugstore has a beautiful mascaras. But this is by Benefit Cosmetics and it is the Bad Girl Bang. There's three new colors, so I'm assuming that they have other colors, but I am talking about the Voluminizing Mascara Every Swipe Lays on 360 degrees fullness that lasts to 36 hours without smudging. Long wear, flake-free, buildable, and it retails for $29 each US. So that's beautiful, and I'm interested. I would love to try a blue mascara. I don't have anything blue. Uh, they have a power blue, which is good for brown eyes. Apparently that was out of stock and now it's back. A wild plum, which is good for green and hazel eyes. And of course the rebel brown, which is good for blue and hazel eyes. And it says it's coming soon onto the Benefit Cosmetics website and Ulta. Now we don't have a Ulta in Canada, so I'm hoping that maybe they will eventually reach Sephora. I would love to have a look at this but they definitely caught my eye. I love the wand, I love the packaging, I love the tubing, I love everything, the colors. I'm interested in the rebel brown and, and the blue one, but we'll see if they come to Sephora and how I, what I think about it at that time. Now, here is a last product I wanna talk about, and this one, I just saw Trend will post this, and I'm talking about the Glow Recipe. It's by Glow Recipe. And they came out with a watermelon glow niacinamide dew balm sunscreen stick. 
and it's SPF 45. I love everything about this product. It looks quite big when you see it compared to like a watermelon slice, right? It looks beautiful. I love the color, very similar to their um, other product uh, by Glow Recipe, the niacinamide dew drops and all that. This product retails for $30. It's a sunscreen serum stick with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It looks, seems like every product this day has hyaluronic acid in it that protects hydrates and leaves your skin instantly glowing while brightening over time. It says coming soon on their website and at Sephora. So it's not at Sephora yet. This is something I'm interested in because it gives you a nice instant dewy glow with no white cast, brightens and even your tone over time and it's like an easy on the go application. I love that it's a stick you can carry with you wherever you go. It's very good if you have kids i have to see if this is okay for children my children are over the age of 12 so i'm i'm sure it's okay to put a nice stick usually in this area where they get burned or right here on the cheek because they always love to go under the water and wipe off their sunscreen that they have and i think a stick is better and uh, usually the sunscreen usually burns your eyes and I think this would be a good product to have. So this is something I would be interested in purchasing when I see it come at Sephora. I love sunscreens and sunscreens are important for your skincare, for your actual skin to have more of a youthful, more healthy glowing skin. I love sunscreen. Okay, so that is it. That was my last product that really caught my eye lately on the Trend Mood website products that are out there or they're coming out soon. I just wanted to bring those to your attention. If you want to have a look, let me know what your thoughts are and which one are you thinking of getting or just maybe just browsing, not having to buy anything based on this video. Just have a look and, you know, enjoy, have fun. Anyways, that's it from me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.